Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I create faith-based videos. I create videos that are to glorify our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to spread the good news of the gospel. Um, you can follow me on my Instagram. Just go ahead and go to my about me and you can see that I have my Instagram linked. I post videos on there as well, both YouTube and Instagram, so you can follow either one. Um, if you want to keep up with my videos, just go ahead and subscribe and click that notification button, share the video, um, just to get it out there into the world a lot more. But today, we are going to talk about temporary happiness. I struggle to say that word, but it's okay. We're just going to go ahead and dive right into it. And the reason why I say that is because this world, that is all that it offers are things that are temporary and temporary happiness. I may be saying that word wrong again. That's just a word. I don't know if any of you guys ever struggle with saying a certain word, but that one for me is a struggle but that is okay um so yeah that's all that the world offers and the reason why i can testify to that is because i have tried to find happiness in this world if you know me personally you know that i used to be a huge sports fan I mean, I followed football, college football, basketball, hockey, baseball. I would go to games. I mean, I was a huge sports fan. And so I found enjoyment in going to games, drinking some beer, having a good time to the point where if my team lost, it would like ruin my whole day. And so that's one of them also the other thing is either by going out to bars or clubs um, and trying to find just enjoyment and happiness and being around people meeting new people the environment the music and never was enough and then finding trying to find happiness and love through men through people that either I dated or talked to and so and it was never enough it never filled that emptiness that I had and so that's why I believe I can testify to that and I'm pretty sure when you're by yourself and you're just thinking about life you're just you and you're just sad and you try to find happiness by going out and doing things that this world offers it's never going to be enough because good example is iPhones or your car um, you always want to upgrade to the newest thing like your iPhone that you have currently is not enough because you want to get the newer one or the car that you have right now is not enough because you want to upgrade to the newer car which honestly when you upgrade like I don't think that they offer too much of new you know I ask people about iPhones like you know why do you always keep upgrading oh because the camera quality is good is better and so I rock an iPhone 6 and until they stop making the battery, I will not go out and get a new phone. But I use those as example because those seem to be really, really big ones. Because there's, there's always upgrading to something better and to something better where it's just, it's not enough. You want the newest things. And so, and all of that one day is going to go to nothing. Like, it's going to go to complete nothing. And so that is what this world offers is temporary happiness whether it's it's whether it's in things um in people 
it's never gonna be enough ever you know you have people who have a lot of money who have all these houses and you could even find stories of celebrities or athletes that say that they went out and they you know they got with a lot of women they bought all these new house these big houses these fast cars a, jewelry material things and they ended up still empty it never filled that hole of just emptiness but I will say there is one almighty and powerful and I could testify that's why I'm doing this video is because I've been there where I try to find it in things that this world offers and it always came up short where I ended up feeling at the end of the night when I'm by myself ended up feeling sad and depressed and just lonely and giving up on everything where I would have suicidal thoughts sometimes where I'm just like I don't want to be here anymore and if you're feeling like that if this video is touching somewhere and that emptiness where you're like you know what that's exactly where I'm at right now where I'm trying to find happiness and I'm trying to find love in people or in things um, in your relationship in your job whatever it is I want to tell you that Jesus Christ will fill that emptiness because one he is the Prince of Peace he is joy he is all loving and if you cry out to him and you open the door to him he will come in he will come in he will open your eyes to truth that you will not care for anything that this world offers because Jesus is enough Jesus is the top the standard of the joy and happiness that you will feel no matter how chaotic this world gets, no matter how hard your day seems, you will still at the end of the day be like, you know what? I have Jesus Christ and that is all that I need. He is enough for me. And I want to just encourage you cry out to Jesus open that door so that he can enter whoever seeks him will find him whether you want to hear it or not whether you like it or not at the end of the day there will come a time where it is too late seek him early while you can because no one is promised tomorrow no one is promised the next day because you don't know what's going to come upon that day you don't know what's going to happen the biggest lie that the enemy loves to give people that you have all the time in the world to get right with Christ you have tomorrow go ahead live your life 
live for yourself, do what makes you happy. That is the biggest lie. And he is the father of lies. Where you'll end up believing it. And a lot of people do. Whether you like it or not, you have a choice. There's no questioning or arguing with the creator of this world, which is God. It's all around you. There's no denying it. Like, you can fight it all you want, but there's going to come a day And everything that you see in this world, your nice watch that you have, your nice necklace, your nice car, you know, your nice things, it's going to all be nothing one day. You will find joy in the Lord. You will find joy in the Lord. No matter how crazy and chaotic this world gets, it won't phase you. Because you will know truth. When you come to know truth, it's like you just see things so differently. Where I did not used to think like this. Before I came to Christ, I did not think like this at all. But when you know truth, you just, you go about life so differently. So I want to encourage you. Cry out to the Lord. Open the door and he will come in. Jesus Christ fulfilled God's plan. By laying down his life, by coming into the world, not to bring peace, not to bring peace, but to bring the sword, the sword of truth, but also to lay down his life, to be the perfect lamb. Who was not just crucified, but before all of that. Before even the, the, the lashes, before all of that, being beaten by the Pharisees, spit on, mocked, it wasn't just the cross. It was everything before that, not once ever thinking a bad thought, where he felt so heavy when he was praying to his father that he sweated blood like take some time to think about that there's no one else that will love you more than Jesus there is no one else that will lay down their life for you so that there can be a way for us to, to have a relationship with the father a relationship with him there is no one else in the world not your husband your wife boyfriend girlfriend sons and daughters parents like no one but one which is Jesus Christ that is the only one But he fulfilled God's plan. He did his part so willingly. For you and I. I never used to think about that. I didn't even know. Before I came to Christ and learned about what he did for me, I had no idea that there was someone who died for me, who died for my sins. Because we are all sinners, each and every single one of us. We have all, we all fall short. And so when you get to learn about Jesus and come to an understanding of love, 
sacrifice. It just, you look forward to spending eternity with him. That's where our hope lies. Our hope lies in what we cannot see, which is eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing in this world will ever come close to that. Nothing. So cry out to the Lord. Have him come into your heart. Teach you about truth and understanding and knowledge. Confess your sins before him. Ask for forgiveness because he forgives right there on the spot. When you truly repent and turn away from your sins, you know what they are. And you give your life to Christ. You deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow him. It ain't going to be easy. A lot of people think that Christians, like, we have it easy. Life is on easy mode. Like, that is a lie. It is not easy. Because you are now an, en an enemy of the dark side. but you have the Lord with you. You put on that armor of God and you fight this fight that we cannot see. It is not against flesh and blood, but it is against the darkness of this world, the darkness of the air. Against It's a spiritual war that we cannot see. But you must stand on Christ who is our foundation we cannot be moved it's just it's such amazing news that I do not want to keep it to myself it's such amazing news that I just I want to share it with the world and encourage people you have to do your part the thing is, Jesus does not push himself on you or force you or trick you. It is your free will of choice. If it was so easy, everyone would do it. Everyone would be a follower, a follower of Christ. But because man is evil and we are sinners we want to do what we want to do but with man it is impossible with God it is possible so cry out to the Lord open the door to him you will not regret it. You will not regret it. He will no longer be a slave to sin. All the chains that you have will be broken. You will be healed. You will be saved. And you will have eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, well, we're going to leave it at that. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos. Like I said, please share to get the word out there. And we will see you in our next video.